Welcome to this yoga sequence and relaxation for inner winter or menstruation. Find yourself in a comfortable sitting position. It's going to be cross-legged or kneeling. And place one hand onto your heart and one hand onto your belly. Allow your breath to settle. Making sure that you're comfortable. Use any extra cushions that you need. Blankets around you. Settling into your breath and connecting your heart to your womb space. Slowly bring your hand down into Yoni Muja. We're going to be guided by the breath as we breathe in. You're going to start to reach your hands up to your heart. And exhaling down, connecting to your womb space. So just flow with your breath. It's an external visual representation of our heart womb connection. You can take it further, reaching the arms up and back through the center. Or if you feel you have more energy, you can start to open up the chest. So as your next breath in, open and draw the shoulders back down, gathering up. Take as many of these as feels comfortable. And when you feel ready, to rest, just take a moment. Placing one hand onto the floor as we slowly move into a side stretch. Use the breath, breathing in, reach over to one side. Anchor in the opposite sit bone down. Lengthening through the side body. Any of these postures, if you feel you need to do a few more, you can just pause the video and continue to do a few extra repetitions. So just working into the neck now, forward and side to side or some neck rolls. Remember to use the breath, the exhale to move, the inhalation to find space. Checking in with your shoulders and your spine into a gentle cross-legged seated cat. So as you exhale, you round the back, drop the chin down, feel the extension through the back of the body. And as you breathe in, lift and open up the chest. Easy breath. Rotate it into the hips now. Slow and gentle movements. Now these circles can be as shallow or as big as feels comfortable. And then when you're ready, going back in the opposite direction. Once your hips feel a bit looser, we can release the legs and just place the feet onto the floor for once again a little more cat sequence. Stretching out into the ankles and the toes, giving the toes any wiggle. Or bending the knees into the hips. Notice how your knees feel today, how your hips feel. Bring the awareness into your practice. Only doing the postures if they feel comfortable. It's nice to connect in with Yoni Mudra at any point in this practice, just to remind us that we're honoring our menstrual cycle as we practice. So flowing through a gentle seated cat position before releasing the legs, stretching out the legs into the toes and the ankles once more, pointing and flexing the feet, really scrunching your toes, using your hands on the floor to support if you need. And nice big circles into the ankles. You can do one at a time or you can do both together. Stretching one arm up into the side stretch and doing again this as many times you need. You might want to stay in this position for a few breaths. Today I'm just giving you a taster of all the beautiful positions that we can use. You can spend as long as you need on each of the postures. Setting up for cat posture, making sure it's a nice supported cat, your knees underneath your hips, hands maybe a little bit further away from your shoulders. We're not crunching into any shoulders or wrists. Through our cat and cow posture, exhaling round in the back and inhaling, opening. How does your spine feel today? Breathing. Easy, 
opening up and releasing. You can stretch back and forward as well. This is a nice way just to release any tension into the shoulders. Feel the breath moving into the back of the heart. When you feel ready, you can set yourself up into a nice supported child's pose. Use a cushion underneath your bottom or your head if you need that extra bit of support. Breathe nice and easy. A nice addition if you're having menstrual cramp is just to roll a blanket or place a towel into the crease of your hips. Just gives an extra little support. Experiment with this, see if it works for you or not. Now relax your shoulders as much as possible. You can rest your head on the floor or a cushion you can make a little pillow with your hands or your arms. Take rest. Moving slowly as we come up to sit. We can stay in this kneeling position if this is comfortable. If it feels uncomfortable, you can come back to an easy cross leg position and just open up and give yourself a gentle connect into Yoni Mudra and maybe a few stretches. Breathing open, gathering everything you need. The cat posture is such a beautiful thing. In menstruation, it really sort of builds up energy into the pelvis, releases tension. But you don't have to go too deep, just notice what feels right for you. Open your heart with the breath. As we slowly transition now, we're gonna to move to a reclining position. So take your time, set yourself up as you lie down on your back. Have any blankets underneath you to make it extra comfortable. And place your feet onto the floor. The feet don't have to be too close to the bottom, so having enough space at the back feels neutral and comfortable. You can either rest your hands in Yoni once again or rest your arms to the side, whichever feels right. Now working with the breath, exhaling knee in, stretching up to the ceiling. Use your breath to slowly bring one foot down and then the opposite side, bend one knee in, breathe in that foot open. And slowly moving through the sequence. So you can go as slow as you can, slowing your breath down. Only stretching as far as feels comfortable. We don't have to do a deep hamstring stretch. It's just opening up through the back of the legs. Releasing with a hug into the chest. You can rock side to side. Roll ever so gently. Massaging your lower back onto the mat. Taking any movement that feels nice now into the knees, ankles, the hips. Before placing the feet back down onto the floor. Give yourself any stretch now that feels good. Use a breath, maybe take a sigh oh, or a yawn. Before bending the knees, we're going to come into a gentle twist. So stretch your arms out to the side. Drop the knees to one side. And you can gaze in the opposite direction. Moving the feet further away if it feels too intense stretch. Or you can move your, move your feet closer to your bottom if you feel you want a deeper stretch. If it doesn't feel comfortable in the neck to turn the head, just keep it in a neutral position. Release any tension in the spine. And you're ready to come up, breathe the knees up to the center, drop the knees to the opposite side, again, just in your feet, your legs, and turning your head in the opposite direction. 
Don't be afraid to use any extra props or cushions if you need that extra bit of support. Every side might be slightly different. Listen to your body. Coming back to center and it might be nice just to switch from side to side ever so gently. And when we're ready, you're setting yourself up, place in a cushion underneath the knees. You can drop the knees out to the sides, making sure you're not hanging into your hips. So one or two cushions or bolsters feels good. Relax into the whole of the spine. Breathe into this open space. Sometimes this open position doesn't always feel that good in menstruation. So just listen to what your body feels like today. If it feels good, then do it. If it doesn't, you can start just to stretch your legs out now. Taking your time. Just to rest on your side as you come up to sit. Now roll in a blanket or a towel. I'm going to place it into the crease of the hips like we did in the child's pose. This time we're going to lie down on the front of our chest. If you feel you need an extra um, rolled mat for your chest or if this feels too intense you can just release the roll. The main thing is that we're lying on our belly, bending your elbows, using your hands as a pillow, just releasing your head to one side. You can move your head at any point. Feel the breath moving into the back of the chest and into the lower back. Breathe in with ease. Allow the weight of your body just to ease into the floor. And just let go a little bit. When you're ready to release, bring your head back to center. Bring your hands to your side. Tuck under your toes and lift up. Take any movement that you need. Wiggle your hips, maybe some circles even. Notice how the shoulders and the hips feel. Now release any blankets. We're going to come into relaxation. So place a bolster, a couple of cushions underneath your knees and lie down back. Allow the body just to settle in our relaxation. So for the next few minutes, there is nothing to do. There's nowhere to be. So you can just start to relax your whole body down. Start by with using your breath. Take a deep breath in. And let it out with a sigh or a yawn. Start to feel your body feeling heavy, completely supported by the ground below you. Completely supported by the earth, the mats, the cushion, wherever you're lying down. And just follow your breath as it comes and goes. With each exhalation, you let go a little further. And letting go of not only any physical tension, any discomfort in the body, any restlessness, but also any desire to move, 
desire to do anything, to be anywhere, to please anyone, just start to let go of that. It'll all be there in time. But just for now, it's permission to do nothing. What does that feel like? So to let go of any negative emotions or thoughts, anything that's not serving you at the moment, just allow them into the ground like a gift. Honouring this menstruation or your menstrual cycle Just as we offer our blood to the earth, we offer up anything else that we need to renew, release and refresh. Start to scan your own physical body for any remaining tension. You can start with the top of your head, through your face, making sure that your jaw and your mouth is soft. Soften into the throat, the neck, the chest. Relax into your belly and your hips. your legs, your knees, all the way down the spine until you reach your feet, your ankles and your toes. Allow a deep sense of letting go. Now from this place of release, I want to now connect and invite in your inner wisdom, our inner intuition. So if it's now a beautiful breeding ground to really tune in to what we need and what our purpose is. It is here you can plant any seeds of intention for the coming months. You can visualise them growing and blooming throughout the rest of your cycle. So if there's any intention that is arising, just allow that to form and settle in your body or your mind or your heart. If nothing arises, just be receptive into your heart and your womb space. And don't force anything. Just allow this gentle connection to be. Intentions aren't always vocalised, not always clear to us. It doesn't mean to say they're not there unconsciously. So settle in with this thought this intention, this space. I'm going to now be aware of the breath and just bring in some lightness. Bring energy, vitality in with your breath in a kind and nurturing way. Start to feel that lightness in a deeper, more conscious breath now, breathing in and letting out a sigh or a yawn. Giving the fingers and the toes a gentle wiggle or stretch. Start to feel a little more refreshed and awakened. 
And so we start to emerge from this short rest. Now start to stretch and wiggle. And only when you feel ready, you can start to move a bit deeper and roll yourself onto your side. Take a moment on your side, using your hands to gently bring yourself up to a comfortable sitting position. You can either come kneeling or cross-legged or legs out, whichever feels most comfortable. Make sure you've got enough support once again. Bringing your hands together, give them a little rub. Placing your hands over your eyes. Allowing the light to come in through the fingertips as the eyes start to open. So you start to feel refreshed for the day, opening into your heart. Give some gratitude down to your cycle, your bleed, honouring where you are today. And with great respect and love. Namaste.